This week we're hosting the, the U.S. Army Small Arms Championship. Pretty much what it is is we bring soldiers from the entire Army, Guard, Reserve, Cadets, in active duty. They come here to Fort Benning. Um, we train them up on rifle, pistol marksmanship. Um, pretty much what it is, it's a, it's a training event cleverly disguised as a competition. We make it a competition so they have fun but the ultimate goal is the training that they receive out of it. Um, it's the ultimate train the trainer event. By that we mean we let these guys come here from their units, we give them all the tools, um, how to enhance their marksmanship, and then the goal is for them to take it back to their units and teach that to all their guys and girls. And it just makes the force that much more lethal. This event prepares people for all kinds of things because a lot of these are timed fire, um, matches and if your gun jams you can't hold up your hand and say hey my gun's jammed can I wait you know because in combat you got to fix it or you're gonna get shot rained here in the past. We've had torrential downpours. Well, we don't call the match. You got to keep, you got to fight through it. You got to figure out what works. If there's wind and you're on a 300 yard rifle range, you have to adjust for that because in combat, you just have to take what it gives you. This year, we had an unprecedented weather occurrence where we had inches of snow and ice dump on us in the middle of the competition. And while the unfortunate part is the course had to shut down for a day, it's still been cold, so the challenges for these guys, they have to fill their magazine with their bare hands, pull that cold trigger at 7.30 in the morning and it's freezing. And the guys in Afghanistan, in the mountains, that's exactly what they're dealing with every day. You have to engage the enemy, you have to do what is expected of you, so that's how we treat them here. We don't put the gloves on them. Uh, we had to shut down because Post made us shut down. If Post wasn't shut down, these guys were gonna compete through that and the last two mornings have been very, very cold. I don't know if they like it or not, I, we haven't heard many complaints, but it's a challenge that uh, they all readily accept. Right now, um, the competitors are doing what's called a walkthrough. They're about to go through the combined arms stage where there's several um, barriers put up and there's different targets. They've been shooting at silhouette targets, bullseye targets all week and now starting tomorrow in their course fire they are going to shoot at all kinds. So today we allow them to walk through it. Every soldier is going to attack these course of fire strategically the best way they know how. Um, everyone does it different. They're taking pictures with their phone, they're writing down notes, they're going to go home tonight. The guys that really take it serious and really want to learn that's what they're gonna do tonight. They're gonna be uh, thinking about what to do tomorrow because tomorrow morning it kicks off, it's hot, and it's the last day that they can get points. My first All Army was in 2005. So we shoot a rifle portion, which is shot from 25 yards to 500 yards. It's on an E-type silhouette, but it has scoring rings inside of it. So it's a much more of a precision type event. But the event has things like there's rundown, uh, portion, so you're purposely, you know, elevating your heart rate when you shoot that, and you're uh, on a, a time limit, and then it's all scored for points like a conventional match. Pistol's the same way; um, it uses the same target, and it's more. If you had to compare it to a different discipline like PPC type shooting, e with an E-type silhouette though, instead of what you see for PPC or, or police uh, competition, and the combined arms event is a time plus or Vickers count type scoring. So your score is your time, hits on the target, then if they're not centered or they're not uh, a, a complete misses, you receive a, a time penalty for those, and then it's who has the better overall elapsed time. Every stage is worth a predetermined amount of points, add up all the points at the end, and that's who you determine your winner. So as far as the organization of the event itself, obviously everyone has to help. You don't just come and shoot and have the caddy carry your equipment or score your targets and whatnot. So the rifle events are held at McAndrews range. We typically uh, group everyone into four separate relays. So you have a relay on the line that's shooting, a separate relay also on the line scoring, and then two relays in the pit. So they're there to repair targets, 
and then of course they get pulled down so they can get disc so the shooter and the scorer up top can see where the shots were for the um, pistol event a given relay will fire the next relay to shoot will have gathered up their targets and they're on the ready line ready to go once that shooting relay is completed they'll gather up their targets and go to a scoring area and then when you're done with that then you take them to a repair area where you can repaste the targets so that way the competitors are you know maintaining all the range equipment and it just kind of flow through in a circle that way and the combined arms event i uh, have a series of stages that are set up and you'll have a stage of fire you'll have a you know shooter on deck and they'll have the, an amu or some other coach then running the shooter with a, a shot timer the squad then gets the range prepared for the next shooter. So the targets have to be all pasted up, the steel has to be reset, and then all the squads rotate through all the different stages of fire.